Hi everyone, Ian here again and still enjoying the sun in Wales, uh, having uh, fun uh, camping it up in, uh, in the mountains. I thought I'd actually take the opportunity to play with these. I got sent a set of um, uh, stealth uh, props from the Mavic Air from Master Air Screw. Uh, I have to say thank you very much for a nice little hat as well. I know Ted, it's very exciting isn't it? But I actually made some pretty bold claims when uh, I saw the adverts on Instagram. Uh, three and a half decibels uh, lower noise and a 12%, yeah, 12% increase in flight time. And I was thinking, really, just from a different set of props? Uh, sounds a bit too good to be true. And I do remember when the uh, Mavic Pro Platinum came out, we had similar claims where they were gonna be a lot quieter and you'd get longer flight time. And frankly, I think underwhelmed was the way I'd actually describe how I was when I tested those props. So um, yes, they've been sent to me, but you know me, um, if they're no good, I'll let you know. But uh, anyway, I am going to do uh, a flight test with them. So trying to keep the test straightforward, it'll literally be a, um, a stationary flight for as long as uh, the air stays up with the original air props and then again with the, uh, the new uh, stealth props. Before I do that though, I thought I'd just let you know who Master Air Screw are. Uh, they're actually a company based out in California. Uh, all they do is make propellers. So propellers is their thing. Uh, they do them for different drones, they do them for model aircraft. So they do kind of know what they're doing. So I have got high hopes for these and uh, I have had a couple of subscribers who thought they were uh, pretty good and they said I should uh, try them out. So uh, let's see how we get on. So first off, the rotors themselves. They're similar to the official DJI props, but there are definite differences in their shape and design. Obviously they're designed to be a perfect fit, so the existing props unclip and the new props clip straight on. You get a, a full set of four in the box and they're marked in the same way as the DJI props to indicate which set goes where. So we all know what the uh, wasp-like sound of the normal Mavic Air is, so uh, let's have a look at the two side by side. So back from Wales and uh, in a bit of a more controlled setting, to be honest, uh, we're in a very sheltered part of the garden, but for the purposes of scientific accuracy, I'm going to use the same battery. So I'm going to uh, do a full flight on this now, uh, let it get, um, go all the way down a critical battery, see how long I get on the uh, timer, and then I'll do a uh, full charge. I've only just charged this battery up, and then I'll do another full charge, and later on this evening, I'll do the other flight with the, uh, with the new props so we'll get um, a, a fairer comparison then as uh, we'll have the same battery, same conditions, uh, the only difference being the, uh, the props. Okay. Ready? You. Right, I'm going to come back in 15 minutes time. So low battery kicked in at 13 minutes bang on. That's 30%. Bring it back over the ladder. It's got a bit of drift, hasn't it? So 20% battery at 14.52. So there we are at the moment, 15.32. We're about to hit 
I'm on 16% battery, so critical battery, critical landing will kick in at 10%. So 11% battery, 16.35, any second now critical will kick in. And here we go, 16.43 is when Okay, so 16.43 when critical battery kicked in. That's with the uh, normal props. Now I'm going to uh, change over to the, uh, the air screws props. Uh, I'm going to charge up the same battery, so I'm going to have to wait an hour, and then we'll, uh, we'll do the second flight. Okay, so I've waited now. The battery is charged up. Uh, the charging circuit switched off. It's fully uh, recharged. I've got the same battery going. Uh, I've got the new props, the uh, master air screw props, on. So let's see how this long. Uh, let's see how long this flight lasts. Stay. Okay. I'll, I'll get on with cutting the grass. Okay, so 30% low battery kicked in at 14 minutes. So, I'm on 16.45, I'm still on 16% battery, so I have to say that is looking good. Seventeen minutes and I'm still on 15%. Eighteen minutes, there we go, and there it's going in to land. So 18 minutes, uh, that's a full minute and a quarter longer than uh, the standard props. So I have to say I'm quite impressed with that. That was the same battery, uh, both fully charged. So um, yeah, um, I have to say that's a, a surprisingly good result. So what's my take? Well, side by side, they definitely have a different pitch. It's not always about the decibels. And to be honest, it's pretty hard to measure effective decibels when you've got a lot of background noise going on. There is a different pitch, the pitch is lower and the pitch is less annoying. So in that respect, uh, to, to me, they're, they're a little bit quieter. Flight time is also improved. The official DJI specs for the Mavic Air give a 20 minute flight time for hovering. And that would equate to 18 minutes before your critical battery kicks in at 10%. Now in my test with the original props, they actually kicked in at 1643. But when I ran the same test with the uh, same battery but the new props, I got an extra minute and uh, 15 seconds. Now that equates to around an extra 8% flight time. So again, it's not the 12% that uh, Master Air Screw claim, but at the same time, it's still a uh, very decent improvement on the flight time. So bottom line, well, they seem quieter. They're definitely a lower pitch. You definitely get a longer flight time. So that's all the boxes ticked in my opinion. They don't cost a fortune, and to me, anything that gives the Mavic Air a longer flight time is good going in my book. So to me, they're a good bet. Anyway, now you've got all of the information you need, uh, you can make your own mind up. Link will be below if you do want any more information. Either way, until next time, have fun, happy flying.